Today we're going to look at how to reconcile payroll payments that we've made through the pay.com.au platform back in our Xero accounting software. So we can see here, make a payment, we can click on payroll payment. We have a couple of options, we can enter manually, so that's entering our employees details individually. You can also import an ABA batch file and then we have the option to pay via a bank account or Visa MasterCard. Once we've authorized and processed the payroll payments within pay.com.au, we'll go over onto our Xero account. The first thing we need to do is we need to set up a new wages payable account within our chart of accounts. So the first step we're gonna do, we'll click on accounting. We're gonna scroll down, we're gonna select chart of accounts. And then we're gonna find our 804 wages payable account. We'll click on that. And then we wanna make sure we've got the box tick that says enable payments to this account. Everything else looks fine. We click on save. And then we wanna go back to the dashboard. And now we actually wanna start the process of reconciling the payroll payments that we've made. So it's gonna work in one of two ways. If we have made those payroll payments using an ABA batch file from our bank account, those payments will come out as a grouped transaction and then we reconcile them against the batch payment in zero. For now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at how to reconcile if we've paid using an ABA batch file and the payment has been made using a Visa or MasterCard. So Visa or MasterCard transactions will come out individually. So you'll have the individual payroll amounts charged separately to your Visa or MasterCard. So the simple way to complete the reconciliation is we're gonna click on cash coding. And now we're gonna scroll down and we're actually gonna select all of the wage payments that were made. So just for example, we'll select a number through here. And then we're gonna assign them to our wages payable account. And then you can see here, so it's automatically assigning these five payments to our wages payable payroll account. And then we'll scroll down and we'll click on save and reconcile. And so those wage payments have been reconciled to our wages payable account. Now what we need to do is we need to create a bill for the total processing fees that were paid. So this will be the credit card processing fees and any pay rewards fees that have been paid on those wages. So we're gonna scroll back up to the top. We're gonna to select business. We're gonna select bills to pay. We're gonna go on to the right hand side. We're gonna click on new bill. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually enter the value of the payroll payment in the quantity. So let's say our wages that we've just paid was $6,000. And let's say for example, it was a payment from a Visa card with a processing fee of 1%. So we're gonna enter 0 0.01 in the quantity. The account is gonna be our 804 wages payable account. The tax rate is going to be GST on expenses. And then we make sure the amounts we're selecting is tax exclusive. And then in the description, we can enter processing fee. We'll have today's date because that's the date that the payments were made. And then in our reference, we'll have fortnightly pay run with today's date. 
and in the from it's going to be pay au. Then we scroll down to the bottom. And click approve. And then you can see there. So the wage payments have been reconciled and then we've created a bill for the associated processing fees and that ha has been assigned to our 804 wages payable account. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna scroll down and we can see here, so this is the amount that's been paid in processing fees. The date paid is today's date because we authorized those wages payable, uh, those wages payments today. We can see we've got, it's been paid from, and we've got our wages payable account. We click on add payment. And that's complete.